mean, a, a lot of the global um, economies are either peaking or, or starting to slow down, whether it be China, Canada, Australia, South Africa. Um, and um, I think, you know, all their currencies have uh, improved or appreciated greatly against the pound and the euro. And the euro zone at the moment it is becoming more stable as we're talking about the ECB. And I just think a lot of these, uh, this global capital that Simon was referring to is, is trying to hedge against its currency. Um, and the Eurozone is a really good place to come and try and invest at the moment. The Chinese, I mean, in 2011, for example, in the Eurozone, they, they invested $8 billion. Um, You know, it is forecasted they're going to invest $400 billion by 2020. Um, it, it is huge. Um, they are, the government is really trying to encourage outward investment. Um, but I think in real estate uh, and infrastructure are probably the two key areas uh, that they're looking at. I mean, I think when, when you look at the Chinese, you have to think um, it's all about them. Um, everything has to have a China angle. Uh, and when I mean that, I mean it's they're looking at uh, the issues they've got in their countries. For example, they've got a lot of pollution. So um, they're, they're desperate for places with clean air. Um, you know, it, it's not necessarily going to be uh, sort of location led. I mean, we've seen some Chinese buy a hotel off. Cork in Southern Ireland from Colliers, um, so they can turn it into a resort. There's a, a Chinese billionaire who's just bought a load of land in, in Iceland. Um, the Icelandic government thought he was coming over to nick their natural resources. He'd want, he doesn't. He just wants to build a resort so the Chinese can come on holiday. Um, so, you know, looking at infrastructure, you know, that they are buying into places where if they can't export their goods and the country can't look after um, to the best of their knowledge, they will come in and help. Um, you know, we've seen CIC, the Sovereign Wealth Fund from China, invest into Heathrow. Um, you know, we've seen um, uh, BCEG from Beijing go into Manchester Airport. So they're all here to sort of try and help, but it's really helping themselves. Um, and I think, you know, they, 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 they've, they're really trying to look after their resources as well. So energy, food, water. You know, I think um, they look at it and see that there's 20% of the population in the world, but they've only got access to 7% of water. So that's why you'll see them go into Thames water, for example. Um, and, um, you know, it, it really is fascinating that, um, it, you know, the amount of money that's coming. And, and real estate will benefit. Um, you know, places like London is seeing the sort of gateway to Europe. Um, but it's not, as I say, necessarily location-led. <laughs> Um, you know, they'll go and invest in Italy if they can see talent and they see a brand that they can take out back to uh, China. So, yeah. it, so they're not necessarily, from, from your point of view, the trend there is that they're not necessarily looking at the same as, say, an American investor um, who's coming across looking at either an <coughs> opportunistic deal. They're actually, it's a much more strategic. Yeah, the, uh, they're Not investors. necessarily based on yields, not necessarily based on... No, their investors and developers are, are effectively following the Chinese trade and student flows, for example. So if a load of students go and uh, Chinese students go to Edinburgh, you know, they will go to Edinburgh. Um, and it's for reasons like that, not necessarily because of the returns they can get, uh, the, is the economy stable, etc. Like four, eight, from eight to 400. I mean, mm. that's, I don't, well, in got, percentage, they've got, that's They've got two trillion US dollars and, to and by 2020. Since, since you apparently have done some research on that, how much of that is, say, say pen, pension funds or government money, and how much is private? Um, I, I, I don't know the exact well, answer to that, but I imagine it's mostly. sort of 50-50. Uh, I mean, really? SAFE, which is the sort of Federal Reserve, you know, have got three trillion US dollars to, to look after over the next uh, eight years. And, you know, whether that goes into bonds, property, infrastructure, etc. Um, but real estate and infrastructure seem to be the biggest drivers uh, for them at the moment to sort of protect their currency.